in your transition over to linebacker, how, how comfortable are you so far in, in spring practice? Um, getting more comfortable day by day. It's been a fun transition for me just to expand on my capabilities on the defensive side of the ball. So um, I'm continuing to grow in the role day by day. So it's going good. How, how was kind of your experiences that you've had at quarterback and safety and a little bit at, at wide receiver? How, how have those kind of helped and, and informed this, this last transition for you? Yes, sir. I think it's been an asset to where I am now. I just, uh, I've been able to experience different positions and see the field from different sides. So I think the culmination of positions I've played just helped me to be a better football player, understand the game and play faster. And then is there, is there a pride that you, that you feel about being able to be adaptable and kind of fit yourself into whatever role that the team might need for you to be in? Sure. Yeah. I mean, you know, ever since I came in as a freshman um, with the Snyder staff, I, you know, they approached me and they said, hey, you have a little bit of athleticism, come play special teams. And I was all for that. So, you know, from day one, I'm a, I've am been a K-Stater and you know, I'll do anything I can to help this university, help our football team win. So I do take pride in my role. Thanks, Ryan. Yes, sir. Thank you. Derek. Special teams has kind of always been big at K-State, of course, and you lost two like senior leaders from that group and Brock Monty and Tyler Burns. Do you kind of see yourself in the role that they held a year ago? No doubt. They were big leaders and they helped me grow into the special teams role that I've kind of, you know, um, took after them. So I do want to step up and kind of help fill the void per se that they left. And, you know, they're, they've been great assets to me and they helped me, um, you know, with the X's and O's and the fundamentals of the game. So I'm trying to do the same for the young guys in the team and just build cohesive units so that we can continue this, the success this season. When was the last time you probably played at one position for an entire year? And has that been challenging being moved around that much? Shoot, the last time, probably my senior year in high school, honestly. Um, it's been challenging, but, um, you know, I'm up for the challenge and it, it's – you know, it's nothing that I'd back down from and it's it's been a part of my career. So I wouldn't I wouldn't change it for the world. You're a linebacker now. Who, who are some of the linebackers that are really lead the room and have been instrumental in kind of teaching you the, the, the tools of the trade, so to speak? Sure. First name that comes to mind is Cody Fletcher. I mean, he's my roommate, probably one of my best friends. And he's you know, he's back for his extra year and he's provided um, an immense amount of leadership for our entire room. But I could go through the entire room and name off people, you know, from myself, Daniel Green, Wayne Jones, Eric Munoz, and then the young guys too. There's a lot of competition. And I think we're a cohesive unit. Uh, we help each other, whether it's on the field or, you know, in the film room. So overall, I think we have a good unit that helps lead each other. So a lot of guys are doing great things in there. Thanks, Ryan. Yeah, thank you. Kels. Hey, Ryan, what would you say was the uh, – hardest transition you had to make from throwing passes to now tackling dudes in the middle of a, of a field? Yeah, so, you know, if I'm being honest about my story, it was tough because I kind of made this transition through COVID. Um, I actually didn't get any spring practice last year in 2020. So, you know, right when spring practice was supposed to start and I was going to get my first defensive practice, you know, we got the call that we had to go home. So, I mean, um, it was tough learning on the fly, learning through Zoom. You know, I had um, my mentor, Ty Zimmerman, who played here at Kansas State and had, you know, a very decorated career. He was a, you know, incredible help. He helped me with the fundamentals, understanding the game. So we trained all through COVID. And um, that was probably the hardest transition, not being hands on during the COVID time and having to come back and compete at a high level. But overall, just learning all the new techniques and the new assignments and alignments is it's been a challenge, but nothing I would uh, shy away from. So, so how did you learn to tackle? Were you hitting bags or was somebody standing in for you? What were you doing there? Yeah, a lot, a lot of trial and error. And, um, you know, going back, I, you know, I wish I had more practice. Um, I've done everything, you name it, from visualization to hitting bags to just um, tackling on air. And um, the live reps helped. Um, scrimmage reps, you know, I, I didn't really get a chance to put my toes in the water, had to dive right in. But you know, I, I, I take pride in just being a football player, and I, I think I have um, a decent ability to just go out there and do what I'm asked to do.
And uh, do, do you still do any scout team work for the offense or is that behind you? No, I mean, I, I haven't in a while. I, I remember, um, you know, back when we were preparing for Navy and the Liberty Bowl that, you know, the, the coaches liked my athleticism and they wanted to um, give me a, a look at quarterback and, you know, kind of prepare for the, the quarterback that we were facing the same when we faced, you know, Kyler Murray and Jalen Hurts. But no, I haven't done any scout work. OK, all right. Hey, thanks, Ryan. Yeah, thank you. Ryan. Hey, Ryan. Uh, I'm also Ryan. Uh, and then Ryan threw me the question to a lot of Ryans right now. Uh, I was wondering, like, if someone had told you, like, this would be your journey from, you know, leaving Junction City to now going from quarterback to safety to linebacker, what, what would you have told them? Would that have surprised you? Or is that something you maybe foresaw maybe potentially happening after you got to K-State? Yeah, so if somebody told me that, part of me would tell them you're crazy. But in the back of my head, I kind of had a feeling this would happen, you know. Um, it's just kind of this out-of-body thing that I can't really explain. I just I just knew that I would find a way on the field and I would, I would do anything I can to contribute to this university. So, um, you know, it, it, looking back on it, I mean, the twists and turns in life are unpredictable and I don't take it for granted and I'm just appreciative of, of it and – it's been quite a journey and I'm sure there's a lot more left. So um, it's been a blessing really. Have, have both position changes, uh, have they been that you went to the coaching staff or was it the other way around? Did they come to you and just ask you what you thought about moving? So it's kind of a little bit of both. I mean, back during the Snyder staff, um, you know, I got recruited as a quarterback and kind of played receiver early in my career, just to be able to help out back and forth them. Um, and the defensive staff then approached me and said, hey, come to defense. You know, we think you'd be a great fit. And I said, um, you know, I appreciate the opportunity, but I really want to give quarterback a shot. And then I struggled earlier in my career with uh, Kleiman's offense. And that was just, you know, not really the right fit for me. And um, they kind of saw something in my athleticism. And, you know, at the same time, I said, hey, I'm, you know, a little frustrated with quarterback, but I think I can help the team a lot more. And they said, yeah, come on. You know, they were all for it. Kleiman was and Klanderman and. Um, Hazleton at the time was so a little bit of back and forth dialogue but it wasn't one side or the other and what's been the biggest difference between you know the time you spent safety and what you're doing now at linebacker um just the physicality of the game I mean safety you have a little more time to react you're you know 10 to 12 yards deep and linebacker your reads are a lot faster you have to have better hands you're going against O linemen every single play so just the physicality and the technique has been the biggest difference for me well, I guess if you put on a little more weight, you know, maybe they could even move you to defensive line so you can say I worked at all three levels of the defense. Yeah, I mean, if they told me to do that, you know, I'd, I'd be all for it. I'll bear crawl, whatever they need me to do, so.